up, y'all? It's your boy, Simply Food by TY. And today, I wanted to do a product review. So I wanted to try out the Slap Your Mama Cajun Fish Fry because I love me a fried fish sandwich. And a lot of the pre-seasoned flour mix that you find in grocery stores when it comes to, like, seafood is just not good. And I do love Slap Your Mama products. So I was like, let's try it out. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm not going to add anything additional to that flour mixture at all. But before we get too far into that, let's talk about the fish. Now, anytime you're making like a proper fried fish sandwich, please use cod. I understand that it's expensive, but I'm telling you, cod is the way to go if you want a real good fried fish sandwich or like catfish or something like that. But just don't be out here using tilapia, please. So what I'm doing right now is you want to make sure that your fish is padded completely dry. This is a very important step that you do not want to skip. Now, of course, I've rinsed it off. That's the reason why it's so wet. But you should do that anyway, you know, especially if it's been sitting in a packet. So what I like to do is I just take paper towels and I literally just put apply some pressure to it and then just drain and get off as much of the liquid as possible. Now, the reason why you want to do this is because most of these pre-seasoned batters or flour mixtures, I should say, when it comes to seafood, always has cornmeal. Well, cornmeal is going to stick 10,000 times better if it is sticking to something that's dry. I don't know why. It just, it kind of works like glue. If it's wet, it's going to clump up and it just becomes a mess. So as you guys can see, I was actually quite impressed. It was, you know, it was very smooth. It wasn't lumpy. I could definitely tell that there was a good amount of cornmeal mixture in there, which is great. And I could really smell that Creole slap your mama seasoning mixed throughout. So, so far I was pretty happy with it at this point. Once again, because I wanted to give you guys my honest review on this, I did not add a single additional seasoning to this at all. Now, as you can see, I'm really trying to make sure that I'm getting this fish completely coated on all of the sides. And it might seem as if there's not a lot of flour on there, but trust me, we're gonna be double dredging this in a few seconds. Um, and honestly, you really kind of don't want to completely lose the taste of flour. I'm um, sorry, lose the taste of the fish. So you kind of really don't want that much caking and flour all over it. To me, that just becomes too much. So I actually, so far, I'm pretty impressed with this. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Now, because I want to step this up just a notch, I'm going to be whisking up two large eggs. And then I'm also going to add in, I would say maybe about a half a cup, if I even use that much of buttermilk, you know, just a few splashes. Um, there's no particular measurement, so you don't really have to stress about that. And if you don't have buttermilk, you don't have to, but the buttermilk I feel will add a, just an additional bit of flakiness and moisture to the fish. So what you want to do is go on ahead and now dip that into that egg dredge. Make sure you're draining off as much of that excess egg as possible. That way it doesn't clump up and become a mess. And you wanna do this one at a time so that you can really get that, um, the Cajun seasoning and the flour and everything on there before it becomes a mess. Y'all know how it works. If any of y'all people out here fry food, you know what happens when the wet stuff get in the flour mixture, then honey, it just becomes a mess. Uh, but I'm going to give you guys a close-up shot on this in a second so that you can really see. Um, but as you can tell, this mixture actually holds onto this fish quite nicely. Like, that's a pretty decent coating that's on there. And it might not seem like it's a lot, but it's the perfect amount. Now, one thing that I will say, of course, because at this point I've already tasted it, I am very, very happy that I did not add any additional seasonings. Because in my personal opinion, I do feel that it was almost, I won't say that it was, but it was almost to the point to where it was too salty. Now, I don't mind my food being a little bit on the salty side, so that doesn't really bother me. But if you are one that, you know, is really watching your sodium or if you don't like, you know, the salty taste of like a fried fish sandwich, this might not be the product for you. But to me, it was perfect. Um, and we're going to add some, you know, homemade tartar sauce and stuff to kind of balance that out. Now, what you want to do is, is just sit that, uh, sit the fish to the side while we work on the sauce. So I added in about 
I don't know, two or three heaping spoonfuls of mayonnaise, about a tablespoon of sweet relish, and then about a half a tablespoon of sriracha, and then a few splashes of lemon juice. And that was pretty much it. You can kind of adjust that, you know, to your liking, depending upon if you want it to be a little bit more on the spicier side. But I will say this tartar sauce mixture here, especially because of the lemon juice, that really does cut through some of the um, saltiness that I was talking about. So kind of keep that in mind when you do make this. Um, even if you buy store-bought, you know, uh, tartar sauce, that's completely fine. Just I would just add a little splash of fresh lemon juice to it because it's going to make a big, big difference. Now I'm gonna show you guys my little setup that I have going here, which y'all have seen pretty much anytime I make egg rolls or chicken or anything. Always have yourself a little basket to the side with the pan underneath that can drain all of that excess oil. So we have our grease at temperature. I mean, it is piping, piping hot. And you guys know fish does not take long to cook at all. Once that fish has browned off nicely and it's pretty much started to float, you know that that fish is done. This to me took, I say, honestly, no more than six, seven minutes. I'm not going to lie to you. But baby, look at how beautiful that fish turned out. Y'all, I did not add anything to this at all. So the cornmeal did a beautiful job. And they used a high quality cornmeal because if not, it definitely would not come out as beautifully as it did. And as you can see, my grease is pretty much still perfectly clean. So that means it didn't all fall off as soon as I put it into that oil. So what I'm gonna do is just sit that on my little rack, let that sit for just like a minute or so so that you don't burn the living daylights out of yourself. I'm gonna be putting these on artesian uh, buttery rolls. Um, you can toast it if you would like. Plop those pieces of fish on there. I'm gonna be using some romaine lettuce. If you like cheese on yours, you can add a slice of cheddar cheese um, and then just lather up some of that sauce on it. And you guys, that is it. What I tell you, this fish sandwich was bomb. Do you hear me? So if you are able to get yourself, you know, get your hands on a box of that flour mix, I would go on ahead and say it has TY's approval. I think it's great. And for people that are not real cooks and don't know how to season stuff, or if you don't get your hands on my girl Sofa Tea's flour, this is a good product. But look at the inside. Look at how flaky it is. My God on today. Look, I want to thank y'all so much for tuning in. And as always, y'all baby, stay cute. And take care. Bye, guys. Good God. Slaying in the kitchen. Simply food by T.Y. We hope that you enjoyed it. Simply food by T.Y. If you haven't took the time, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Simply Food.